Hey, hi folks, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever it is you're opening this. And uh, God's blessing and peace be with you. Speaking of peace, I hope you see St. Francis over my shoulder there, and I hope that he would be our guardian and guide in the days to come. To that end, let us pray. Dear Lord our God, who retains all true power, have mercy on us as a country. Lead us all to search our hearts with your spirit and change us to be a better people. Help us to reflect your love in our words, and yet let us not be afraid to defend the equitable rule of law and defend the peace equally. Be with those in conflict with one another and help reason, wisdom, and love prevail. For the sake of him whose nature we are called to reflect, in righteous challenge and humble service. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And my wife uh, posted this earlier and offers it to you now. From the Reverend Hunter Salites, Lord, abide with us in these times. By the power of your spirit, cause your transfiguring love to well up in every American, regardless of our political beliefs. Teach us to see you in each other. Help us to overcome the efforts of all who would seek to divide us, who would turn us against one another and make us weak in our anger. Amen. These are trying and troubling times. Absolutely, no question. And there's no point in just pretending they aren't. But these prayers are important and our diligence, our representation of Christ in righteous challenge and in humble service. It's critical, more critical now than ever. Let the church be the third way, not the place of winners and losers, but of seekers dependent upon one another for the wisdom and truth God has given each of us to share. But let us remember reason, wisdom, and peace. Hey, some other news that has challenged us and caused us to say, what? Oh my gosh, what next? That news is the great good news of Susan Tichy's family finding not only new employment in these days, but better employment, a promotion an increase in opportunity for their whole family. John Tichy has uh, been given a terrific opportunity that they just cannot turn down. And so they'll be moving away from Burlington to Alabama, of all places, uh, in the end of this spring. Susan will be moving away, and she will stay with us, though, through March. And she has promised a blood oath to me that she will help to rewrite the job description in the 21st century, that she will help to research, seek out, and train uh, potential candidates and be available to us after that new person takes position uh, for consultation. And for that, we are so very thankful. But again, as upset as you might be, imagine how I feel dependent upon the good mercies of God every single day. Hey, all right, so God bless her, God bless her journey, God bless the good fortune uh, they've been granted. Let's look ahead to uh, the giving statements. We'll be out, they're coming. Uh, Julia Buffington is hard at work on those, and uh, but she reminds us that if you have Realm, you can find those um, information, those documents yourself uh, through that app. But if not, they'll be mailed to you, to every single one of you, hard copies by the end of January. Um, please be aware the men's group continues to meet online at 9 o'clock on Thursdays. Tremendous, terrific programming continuing with them. And I believe Bob Bird is going to be up uh, next. And he has a great wealth of wisdom and experience and history to share with us about uh, Burlington, Alamance County, uh, governance, um, and look forward to hearing from him on Thursday. Hey, if you haven't been participating online in various programming, Sunday services or 
Sunday morning uh, educational programming or Bible studies because the whole technological challenge is intimidating. We have the tech team of the ages. They're great, they're warm, they're friendly, and they know everything. So please contact us at the church office if you've been intimidated or had any difficulty accessing any of the programming uh, that we've been trying to make available. Do let us know and we will get you on board by phone, by tablet, by computer. Well, until I see you Sunday on Zoom, stay safe, stay well, stay in touch with those you love. Every blessing.